In this video, we'll develop the bottom-up and top-down Hebify operations, and then we'll use them in the development of a priority queue uh, that's based on a heap. Okay, so the first step is to develop the Heapify operations. So let's do that. Let's open up Visual Studio. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. And so we'll just call this the, the Heap project, uh, Priority Queue Based Heap. So let's create a console application and click Next. Uh, I want to store this. I'm going to create a project on the desktop. It's going to be a uh, priority queue heap. Okay. So first we have to set up the top-down and bottom-up heapify operations. Let's do that first, and then we will. Uh, once those are confirmed to work, uh, we will use them in our uh, priority queue-based heap. Okay, we're going to call this our PQ heap uh, project and we'll place it in the same directory and, and click uh, create. Okay, so uh, as before, here we need to remove. We don't want this one. Uh, let's delete it. And we'll start off uh, with our own, our own files. Okay, so uh, in the lecture, we saw some examples of how to set up our bottom-up and top-down Heapify. So let's use some of that uh, information in order to set up our priority queues. So the first thing we want to do is we need our header files. Okay, so let's go with a new item. Okay, and we'll just call this uh, pq.h. Uh, so this is in our priority queue. So we'll call it, uh, maybe we'll call it pqheap.h. Okay, so these are all the functions. So first we have to set up the helper function. So let's get those uh, working and tested. So let's go add. Okay, so pqheap.h, we need pqheap.cpp. pqheap, okay. And then we need a main, so let's get a main going here. New item, we'll just call it main. Uh, we'll just call it main test, okay? So this is going to test our Heapify operations. And say add. Okay, so this one is going to test the uh, top-down and bottom-up Heapify operations. So let's let's do that. So we'll call this uh, main test.cpp. This is going to be a temporary test file. So this is um, main line for testing the bottom up, uh, up and top down. Probably I could I should put okay, bottom up and top down heapify operations. Okay, and you can put an author, Michael, date, whatever you like. Okay, so that's this one. Let me copy that. Uh, PQ heap, what we're going to have here. Let's paste this, and this is PQ heap.h. So PQ heap.h. And this is the interface. Actually, I should have called this one. Um, let's call it the client, okay, um, main line, I guess you could say. This one is going to be temporary. It's for testing the, the Heapify operations. Okay, so let's go back. So PQ Heap, this is the interface for the Heapify operations, okay, and this one, control C, uh, is going to be here. Paste this over here. This is going to be dot cpp. This is going to be the implementation for the Heapify operations. Okay. Well, not just the Heapify. Heapify operations, and um, those are the helper ones, and the priority and the PQ 
uh, and the heap based priority queue. Okay, so we'll, we'll just copy this over. Copy. Okay, for okay the bottom up and top down heapify operations. Okay, so now we have our 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 headers, our implementation, our interface implementation, and a testing mainline, and we can we can get started. Okay, so uh, in the priority queue. What do we have? Let's go to priorityq.h. We have the the functions that we showed uh, in the lecture. We talked about in the lecture. We have, um, let's see, we have the our prototypes. Okay, and for a heapify, these are the helper functions. These are the for heapify operations. Okay. So there's going to be a top down, top down, and bottom up. Okay, so we have void. We call fix up. Okay, it takes uh, a pointer to an item. Okay, and it takes an integer. Okay, okay, that's the the location of the parent. Okay, oops, these are prototypes. And then we have fix down, void fix down, which does the same thing. It takes pointer, okay, and a, it takes a the location of the parent, so we need int, k, okay. and then we need the size of the array, n. Okay, so we have fix up, fix down, and that's it. Okay, so we have these two prototypes. So we're we're gonna start. We have to write these and then test them in our main line. So let's uh, let's start or save that. Take these. Control C. Bring them to our implementation. Okay. Uh, gonna get rid of the semicolons. Okay. Get rid of the semicolons. And I forgot something here. Uh, in in this, you see how there's an error here. Uh, item A, item B. Uh, item is not known, so there's an error. It doesn't know what an item is. So what I have to do, I have to define the item in my heap. What what do they look like? And I I haven't done that actually. So let me let me go new item, a header. We'll just call it item dot each. Okay, and save that. And what I have to do is I have to define what does what does an item look like in in this uh, in this thing. So let me just uh, let me just grab what we want to write for each item. So this is item dot h. So let's uh, put the header in or the the comments here. Okay. So this is item dot h and just a uh, Interface, interface for defining uh, the structure of an item. Now the idea is that if you have the same structure across different uh, projects that you have, you don't have to retype this, right? Okay, so here I'm going to go in and um, I'm going to define the structure of my item. Uh, item. Okay, and it's we eventually want to use this in a priority queue, so we have to have some way of measuring priority. So I'm going to define priority as an integer. Okay, and in in the project we have we're going to have text, right? We might have some text, so I'm just going to, you know, item text. Okay, so we're going to use this this text. Uh, and we and each and, and it will have a priority, and we might even have some some number uh, as well. So we can use one or or the other. Okay. So this is this defines Control S uh, our item. This is item dot h. Okay. Oh, I, I capitalized it this time, but that, that's okay. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to show. Oh, the other thing I forgot to do was 
define this as a type, right? So type def, you could put it anywhere, I could put it even after, but wherever you see struct item, or actually wherever you see item, okay, um, it's going to be redefined as struct item, okay? All right, so this is the alias for this uh, defined data type. So we save that, and now in in pqheap.h, we can define what an item is by including, right? So we say include, and then we say item.h. Control S, and now everything looks good. Okay, so now we can go into pqheap.cpp. Now this is, uh, let's see, did, is something incorrect? Fix up, fix down. Uh, control S. What's going on? It should. Oh, it needs to know what the it needs to know what an item is. So we have to say the same thing. Include item dot each. Control S, and everything is hunky dory. <laughs> I guess they could say. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so now we have to define these, and we've defined these functions in in class. Okay. Uh, not all completely. So I've left some some room. Uh, for interpretation, there are some some functions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to start. So fix up, uh, we we did in in the class. Okay, we did it explicitly. It was pretty pretty simple. It's a pretty simple function. Um, so fix up is the bottom up heapify. Okay, and it's a very very simple. We what we saw in in the class was we have. Um, we have an item, we have a, a location. So what we say here is we, ha we have this, uh, I'm going to go straight to what we had in our in our function. So we have, uh, we have to define the item, okay? Uh, we, need, we need a temporary item. It's not going to be exactly as what we saw in the class. So, uh, and then we what we're what we want to say so so k is the location of uh, of the parent okay all right so we're, and we're going up right we're going up towards the root from the bottom so uh, while the location of the parent is greater than zero because at the root we stop right and we have this this less function, right? So we don't have to. We can just define it directly. So and, okay, uh, while k is greater than zero, and uh, we have a. Okay, now where is the child? So we got to look at the child. The child is at k divided by two, right? Is the child? Okay. Uh, so while a at k divided by 2 is less than a at k, right, is less than a at k, okay, now uh, we're looking at an actual number, right? So how do you define this, this less than? So we're looking at the priority, okay, of the child, and it has to be less than the, the parent. So here we're looking at the left child, uh, less than the parent. Okay. So while that's true, we exchange. Okay. Uh, here we're looking at the left child. Okay. So uh, so here we are, and 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 then what we're going to do, while that's that's true, we are going to uh, swap, right? swap the child with the parent okay so actually what we should do is we should look we should swap with the child that is uh, well it, the, look it, it's as long as the child is greater actually we're going up the uh, the tree so as long as the parent when the parent is greater than the child we stop right so while the uh, the child, right, is less than uh, the parent, we're going to do a swap, right? So, so k over 2 is, is, the, uh, is the location of the parent, okay? So while the parent, 
as, as long as if the parent is less than the child, then we're going to take the child and we're going to swap the child, okay, with the parent. So I, I was, I was, uh, I said the wrong thing at the beginning here. A at K, okay, this guy right here is the location of the child because we place, right, we place the new, any new element that we add to the heap is placed at the bottom of the heap. And so K is the location where we placed that element. So we have to look and say, okay, is the parent of that new element, okay, if it's less than the new element, then we have to swap and, and move that new element up the, uh, uh, up the heap, okay? So how do we do, how do we do a, a swap? Well, that's why we need that temporary uh, item. So we have temp, this is just a, a standard swap, right? You, you need a temp, temporary variable, so a at k, so you store uh, the value, that, one of the values that you're going to swap in a temporary variable, and then that's why you save it. So now we're going to set a at k equal to a at k divided by 2, okay? Because we're, 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 okay, and then we're going to take a at k divided by 2 and put the temp variable there. Right? You need that extra variable uh, to store because you only have two and you can't directly swap. All right. Okay. And then once we're done, we got to go and check what's the next, what's the next parent. Okay. So K is now the new location, right? This is the new location of the added uh, item right, because it was swapped, okay, or the new index of the added item, I should say, okay, index of the added item, okay, so this will, we'll test this one, control S, we'll, we'll test this one um, on a known array, which is one of the ones that we, we had in class, uh, and we'll, we'll test to make sure that it, it works, and now we're going to work on the next, uh, the next implementation here. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do, we're going to, this one is a little bit more complicated. Okay, it takes the, the, uh, the address of the stack, it takes K where you add the, the element that you changed. Okay, so here, this guy, uh, we should say that K, K is index of the added element at bottom of heap, okay? And here, k is the index of the, k is index of the altered or modified element at top of heap, okay? All right, so what do we do with fix down? Well, okay, We've got k, right? k is the index of the element that we modified. We got to compare, so we got to swap going down the heap, right? So we got to know where the children are. So int, so j equals 2 times k, okay? So that means this is the index of j is index of left child, right? And so j plus 1 is index of right child okay of the of the of the modified element right okay so that's that's important okay so we know that now we know where the children are and now we are going to start swapping but when we go down when we swap down we choose to swap with the child right that is uh that is greater. So we got we're gonna we're gonna swap with a child that is greater. Okay. So uh, while okay, because we're gonna continue to do what we're gonna do next is while j is less than or equal to n. Okay. So while the left child is less than or equal to uh, the number of elements in the in the in the heap. Okay. What we're gonna do uh, if I if I just look at the code so. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to check. Uh, the first thing we're going to check is, has the heap condition been achieved, right? So here, 
we're going to check. So if, okay, and if a at j is less than a at k, okay, so, uh, so if, uh, let me see here, I missed something. So this is a swap. So what we have to do is we have to say if a at j dot priority, okay, is less than a at k dot priority, okay? So what we're looking at is we're looking at if the child, the left child, is less than the the priority is less than the parent. That's the first possible. Okay, so if that's true, and and okay, so here let me double bracket this just to make this okay. So we do that uh, and right and so basically we want we want the parent to be greater than both children. And that will tell us that the heap condition has been achieved. That's our breaking point. So that we have to check this all the time. So, uh, so what we're going to say here is that uh, a at j plus one, right, dot priority, right, is less than a at k dot priority. Then the heap condition right has been achieved okay so this is this is uh, if the heap condition has been achieved here let me make some more space here uh, I could make this actually in one we're just gonna say break out of the while loop and really what's happening here is what are we saying we're saying that the heap condition has been achieved because we want Right? We want the, the left and right children to be less than the parent. And that's when we stop. Right, That's when we stop swapping. And that's what we're, we're going to swap next. Right, So now what we're going to do is we're gonna, we, we want to swap with the, the child that is greater. Right? We want to swap the parent, which is less, with the child that is greater. So we gotta, we got to choose. So uh, we're going to go one, one way. So we're going to say, okay, if, right? We're going to just compare the left child. Uh, or actually, here, look what we can do. We can compare the two children and swap with the child that is the greatest. Okay? So if uh, a at j plus 1 dot priority, okay, okay, is less than a at j dot priority. Okay, then wh which one we want to exchange with a at j? We want to exchange a at k with a at j. So we're here. I'm just going to say swap a at k with and a at j because j is, a at j is going to be bigger, right? You swap with. Um, this is this means swap with the larger right and here uh, left child right right so that's what we're gonna do here else right else we're gonna swap here we're saying here let me just make it again so we're gonna say left child is larger uh, swap with the larger uh, so swap with the larger left. Uh, actually, here let me. This is what it means. Uh, oops, sorry. Let me go back. So the left child is larger. So swap. Swap a k. The this is the parent, right? With a j. The left child. Okay, that's a little clearer, right? And then here, the opposite is true, right? So if I if I was to copy this, this is the case. So Control C. This this in this case, it's the right right child is larger. So swap the parent with 
right child. Okay? So now we just have to do the swap operation. But once you swap, right, once the, the parent has been moved, uh, moved down, right, the thing that we modified has moved down, now we have to, uh, the new position, we have to find the new children, right, for that parent. So the, the, the new children is at 2 times k, and we have not yet set k, okay? But we know that we've, we've moved here. We've moved, um, so the modified um, element, okay, or node, modified element moved down, so this, this is the new left child. Because we're going to swap, right? We're going to swap, and so uh, we need to know this is the new left child. So we're going to set k somewhere in here, right? We're going to set the new value of k. So what do we have to do uh, after the swap? Okay, so to swap, it's the same same thing we saw up here. You need a temporary variable. You need to swap, and then uh, and then you put that temporary variable in the other in the other one, and then you reset your value for k. Okay, so here uh, is what we're going to do. We need to do a swap between a at k and a at j. So here we need a temporary variable just like we did here. We need an item temp. So let's do that here. So item temp. Okay, so this is for swapping. So this is a temp variable used for the swap operation. Okay, we, we could have written a function that just does exchange. Uh, and we could actually still do that if we want to. That might make... Yeah, uh, maybe we will. Okay, let, let's make a swap or an exchange function. Okay, let's do that. We're going to define that up here. Let's, let's go to item.h. Uh, sorry, uh, this is pqheap.cpp. I need to just make another. This is going to be a helper function. So this one is, uh, maybe it's not really worth. We're only doing it once, uh, two times, actually. Let's just leave it. We'll just do it now here. Control S. If we were doing it many times, then it would be worth, uh, worth the effort. So we're going to exchange A at K and A at J. So what we need is we need our temp variable. So temp. Actually, we could just use, uh, it's not going to be the same as this one. We need to swap. Okay, so temp uh, equals A at K, right? A at K equals, right? So we're swapping A at K and A at J, A at J, and then, right, A uh a at j equals temp. Okay. So this is good. Okay. So control S. So our temporary variable stores a at k. We overwrite a of k with a at j, and then we write a at j with the temporary variable. Good. And then we have to, what we need to do is we have to set k equal to j because we swapped we swapped parent with uh, a at k right or a at uh, a at j a at j okay and the same thing is going to happen here it's going to be instead j plus one so we can actually um, take this and we can use it here so the here the right child j plus one so temp is a at k plus one oh sorry temp is a at k a at k j plus one a at j plus one equals temp k equals j plus one we we've swapped with a at j plus one right with the this is the left sorry right child. Okay. This is left child. Okay. All right. I don't want to keep 
Okay, we're going to align all these comments here just for beauty. Okay, so this looks like it should work. So let's go here, save. And now what we need to do is we need to write a test function for, I want to, I'm using a testing main to test these functions. Okay, so let's, let's go in and write our testing main for, for this. Okay, so in main, what do I need? I need, okay, let me just make sure I have, this one has item.h. Okay, so I need item.h and pqheap.h included in my testing main. So let's go uh, in here, go include, okay, include, we have our, we have uh, item dot h, and we have include, uh, we called it, what do we call it here, pq heap, pq heap dot cpp, okay, and that's it for, for that. We're going to have some input output operations, so include, I'm going to go stdio dot h, okay, control s, we want we want to include those, and we're going to have, uh, we're going to test our top down and our bottom up functions. So I'm going to do the same thing I did in the previous example here. So I'm going to say define um, top down, okay, and then we're going to define bot up. Okay, so these are for our uh, when we run our top down and bottom up tests. Uh, for our heapify. All right, so let's go int main, and again, I like to return zero at the very end before I start typing. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to start filling the, uh, basically the, the values and the priorities uh, of, our, of our elements or our, our items in our heap, okay? All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to have something for um, taking in values, okay? So taking in values uh, to set up our heap, and then uh, we're, going to, we're going to test, uh, you know, how we can do a, a, a top-down and a bottom-up heapify. So what do I need? I need, definitely I need items, so by item, okay? Uh, the number of items, I need an integer to store the number of items, and num items, again, defensive programming. Okay, so I set, set it at zero. And then I need some counters, i and k. Okay, and then here, now I'm going to start, uh, first got to define how big's the heap, right, how many items to put in the heap, and then I'm going to start... Um, I'm going to start adding them in, okay? So let's go, uh, we need printf, okay? I'm going to ask the user um, how many items to add to heap, question mark. Um, so here we can do this. And then the next, we're going to scanf. Okay, it doesn't like when I'm going to do scanf here, but okay, percent %d, I'm going to fix that. Uh, you can use scanf underscore s if you like, but okay, oops. Uh, so I'm going to scan num items like I did before, control s, and what I should say, um, I should say, Define and then go CRT secure. No warnings. Okay, control S and it should be okay. The, this should, I mean, you could use scanf underscore S if you like. Um, okay, so now I have to initialize my heap, right? So initialize the heap. I'm sort of doing this um, manually for now. Okay, so item A, 
right? And I have to cast to an item pointer. Okay. And then malloc. Now, what do I have to do? I have to do one, one more than the size that I want. So I'm going to say num items. Okay. Plus one times the size of an item. I put one extra, okay. Uh, now malloc, I don't have. Uh, I haven't. I don't have it in my. Uh, so this is. I need to include malloc.h. So control S. I have to go here and include malloc.h. Control S, and everything should now be okay. Okay. And all right, so that's uh, basically uh, we're not using, right? So why uh, the plus one? Uh, we don't use index zero, okay? Um, all right. So we're not using it uh, in our in our setup here. Okay. So no problem. We can we can continue on. So now what we need to do is we need to add our items to our priority queue. Okay. Uh, or our heap. Okay. So right now we're, we're uh, the way that we're doing this is we're manually, okay, we're manually testing our uh, top down and bottom up heapify by assuming an array, right? Assuming that it's it's an array and, and those functions are working on an array because heaps are generally uh uh, set up right they're, they're generally implemented using arrays okay so uh, now I have to add items to the heap and give a priority to to each okay okay so we need to add items to heap okay uh, and giving each a priority okay um, Okay, we're going to later heapify all this. Okay, so this is where we're creating our heap. Okay, so we're going to have our for loop for i equals 1. i is less than or equal to num items i++. plus plus. Okay. Uh, so when we add our items uh, to heap, uh, Add it to the bottom of the heap each time. Okay, so each time they're added to the bottom of the heap. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. So we're going to say, all right, uh, we're going to say, so really all we're going to, I'm not adding anything to the other elements of the heap, I'm just going to set priorities. Okay. So I'm going to say uh, print f, okay. And I'm going to say enter priority uh, from one to twenty, a number from one to twenty, okay. And then I'm going to scan f, and then go percent uh, percent d. And then I'm going to scan my item dot priority. My item dot priority. Okay, so I have to I have to scan it to that uh, location. Now, oh, I I didn't. There we go. Okay, so you notice that my item is an item, so uh, I need to pass the, the the address of this item. I'm, I'm and then so I'm passing my reference, and then I'm passing the I want to fill the priority. Okay, I want to set the priority uh, with that because I have to pass an address to scan F. Okay. Okay, so that's that. And then what I'm going to do, uh, so then I set in my heap A at that location equals whatever I scanned in, my item. Okay, so I'm putting the entire item into the heap, right? I, I, I wrote just to the, 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 uh, the sub data the, in the structure there's multiple uh, 
things you can put. I just wrote to priority, but I put the entire item in the array because the array is an array of, of uh, items. Okay, so this is an array of items. Okay, so I put here I put everything into the heap. Okay, and to test it, to test it, first I want to show what the heap looks like before the heapify operation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a heap. Okay, in this heap, the last item that I put is going to be uh, is going to be the, the the largest item. Okay, so I need to uh, what I'm going to do is a bottom up heapify operation. So uh, if I build my heap and I put the last item uh, as the largest item, like the last item that I add to the heap, then when I heapify it, it should rise to the top. It should rise up, and, and I'm going to keep my heap sort of sorted. I'm going to use the heap that uh, we have in the lecture. Okay, when I when I do this example, okay. So uh, what I'm going to do, I, first I have to show the current order of the heap, right? Show the current order or the structure of the heap. Okay. Now you're going to have to compare with uh, the the heap that's in the in the notes here. Okay. So here, uh, printf backslash n backslash and I just uh, current uh, order of heap right before the bottom up heapify operation okay maybe I should just capitalize the before So that's that one. Uh, I should put it on a new line and then start start showing everything, right? Uh, so here, what we're going to do is we need to print it, right? So we're going to say uh, for i uh, equals 1 while i is less than or equal to num items i plus plus open up and we're gonna print okay so we're gonna go print f okay and then uh, we, we want to print okay percent d okay so we're gonna go percent we're gonna put everything on a new line and then a at i dot priority so we're just printing the priorities okay and that's it so that shows us the before operation and next we're going to test the uh, the bottom up and then we can also test the the top down okay so here uh, I should do just put a print F and then just just go percent and percent and just to make some space there Okay, so now we're going to have uh, an if def, right? Because here we're going to test. So if def, okay, uh, what did I put? Bottom up, bot up, what did I do? Uh, bottom up. So I'm, I'm going to test this one first. Okay, bot, B O T underscore up. B O T underscore up. So if that's defined, I gotta put an end and if okay then we're gonna do all the steps that we're just gonna okay we're gonna do this these steps next so uh, I'm gonna do a fix up okay so I'm going to call I'm see it's the best way to kind of well I, when you fix up you're gonna fix it up from the bottom up for every item Right, for you're gonna you're gonna. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the the very last one and then float that one up. Then the the next last one float that one up. Right. So I could test if I have my my array already sorted. I'm just gonna show you the very last operation where the last item that I add gets floated up to the top. Okay. So so I'm gonna say for k equals num items. Okay, so I'm starting with, and so while k is greater than 1, okay, k minus minus, okay? So basically I start at the last item and I float it up to the top, okay? And then 
if 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 everything is already sorted, then the rest of the iterations will do nothing. Okay, I'm going to show you that case. Okay, so and then all I do is I call my fix up uh, function. I pass it my my array. Okay, I pass my array, and then uh, and then I pass the, the 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 item that I'm floating up. Okay, and that's it. I, I, I'm that is my fix up operation, and then I can just print right here. I can print the results right. Um, so here, this is the 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 after the the heapify operation. I can just copy this right, copy, and I could just paste it there. Um, this is after after the bottom up. Heapify operation. Again, this main line is just to test our functions, our fix up and our fix down functions. Okay, so that is that. Um, right. Okay. Now we're gonna test. Uh, I want to write the, the function for top down. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a, a slightly different. Okay, so we're gonna let's do it again. Let's do ours. So here I'm gonna test if def top. I think I wrote top down. Let me just make sure. Yeah, top underscore down. Okay, so this will test the top down. And if okay. So here we test our top down operation. Um, so again, we've already printed it. So now all we're going to do is go from K and float down. Okay, so here uh, we start from you know the first item in the in the heap and float it down. And in our in our example, it is only the first item that's out of order in the heap that I'm that, that we did in our in our test. Okay, so but this does it in general for all items that are in the heap and it, it sorts them from the top down. Uh, okay, so uh, I did the top down. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to you know perform the, the the top down for each item in the heap. So four, and we start at the uh, at the top, right? So four uh, k equals one. We start at one, right? And then uh, we're going to say well k is less than num items because we do it for all the items in the list k plus plus okay um, so that's that one I, I'm gonna test this one too it's not it's not showing it because it's been blocked out uh, so if I want to activate it that's how I would do it okay so now top down is active and bottom up is not okay so now we're again top down means start at the top of the heap and float things down so here's our top down uh, heapify. So then we say fix, fix down. This guy takes the array. Uh, it takes uh, A. It takes uh, K. K starts again, it starts at one. But if it's, if you just change one item, you fix down every single time. Uh, every time you add something, you, you would do the fix down operation. Or, or sorry, modify. Uh, you would do the fix down operation. Okay, uh, and then uh, and then num items because it needs to know uh, it needs to know where to stop. It needs to know how many items there are uh, because zero is not you know the the root is not the, is not an end condition <laughs> for this one. It's the other way around. Okay, so we have we have the fix down, and then what we can do is we can print um, the the heap after the the uh, top-down heapify operation. I can copy this, control C, and just do the same thing here uh, after the top-down heapify operation. And that's basically it. Um, we have everything set, and then we return zero. Okay, so now what we need, uh, we need to go back to, in order to see this, you got to go to see the heap that we're uh, that we're going to uh, that we're comparing to to test, so let's start off. Uh, I want to start off with I'm going to show you the bottom 
bottom up heapify heap. Actually, let's go with the in the in the um, uh, in the in the notes. We actually have uh, an example. Uh, how many? On, on, on the slides in the notes. So we can use that. I'll just uh, quickly show you. Okay. Uh, this is the structure of the heap. Okay. Uh, this one is the bottom up heapify. So actually, let me just. Okay, so this is what the heap looks like. So it's always in level order. So 16 is the first item, then 14, then 10, then 8, 7, 9, 3. Right, so when we want to, and then two, four, one, and fifteen. Okay, so we we are going to insert fifteen at the end. So when we make our heap, we're going to write sixteen, ten, eight, seven, and we put fifteen at the end, and then that's the only one that's out of place. Okay, so we're going to see that this guy is going to float up until we get this is our final heap, and what what it's going to look like is you're going to have sixteen, then fifteen, then ten, then eight, then fourteen. Okay. So that's that's what we're what we should get uh, if we do our this is going to be our uh, bottom up heapify, okay? So let's let's do that one first. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, I'm going to keep that code off to the side so that I know the order to enter, and we're going to do a, a bottom up first. Okay, so let's go over here. I don't want the top down. I want to test the bottom up first. Okay, so Control S. I want to test bot up okay so let's run I want to I haven't tested to see if there's any errors so let's let's just do a test see if we get any bugs so yeah we, we have some bugs so we're gonna say no and uh, what we want okay it says it says um, uh, you know use s scan or scan f underscore s or CRT secure no warnings I, I did that um, fine did I did I do it completely CRT underscore secure underscore no underscore warnings. Okay, let, let me go and make sure uh, that perhaps I believe this one has to be control X. I believe I it needs to be the first uh, define uh, before anything else. Okay, so let's go control S. Let's try it again. I think that is the case. If not, I will. I will. I will go and take a look and see what what the issue is. So so no. Uh, oh, okay. So that was that fixed that error. Uh, so what 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 is the error here? It's good to to you know to, to know how to debug. So here it's saying there's a link error because uh, what do we have? We have oh. <laughs> Wow, uh, it's not pqheap.cpp, it's pqheap.h. Aha! You guys are probably screaming at the video saying, Mike, you made a mistake. Okay, so there's the mistake. <laughs> I guess we're all human. Okay, so let's uh, let's try running it again. Okay, and so this time, this time, it uh, it compiled with no, with no issues. Okay, so I'm going to compare uh, this with this. Okay, so how many items? I'm going to go with 11. Okay, and here I'm going to enter a priority from 1 to, uh, they put 1 to 10, but I put 1 to 20 here. Okay, so I'm going to put 16, 14, 10, 8, 7, 9, 3, 2, 4, 1, and then 15 because that's the one that's going to be out of place. So tells me uh, current order of the heap. Okay, so here current order of the heap before. Okay, that's what we did. That's hasn't changed. It shouldn't change. Okay, and then after we have 16, 15. I have 16, uh, 14, 10. Sorry, this is the before. Here it is. 16, 15, 10, 8. 16, 15, 10, 8. So, perfect. We have confirmed uh, the operation of the bottom up heapify. So, let's let's close that one. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is go through and check the top down heapify. So, we're going to uh, go to look for that. And, okay. So, when we do that, I, again, I have in the notes, we have the uh, 
uh, we have the, the heap, what it looks like. Okay, so the heap that we're testing here is where what we've done is uh, we've basically, we had a working heap and then someone went and modified the root. Okay, so we're going to take six and we have to float it. We have to float six uh, down. Okay, so we're going to we're going to do a top down heapify, and so remember how that works. We basically replace. Uh, we're basically going to swap, right? We're going to bring uh, six. We're going to swap with the largest child. So we're going to swap with fourteen, bring fourteen to the top, and then float six down to the largest child. Okay, so at the end it should look like this. Okay, so let's let's test it. So we, we have the inputs and outputs, right? We have what we expect. Okay, so our heap is going to look like this initially. Okay, so that's, and then, okay, it's going to be the same here. It shows you the heap structure and then after the, hop, the, the operation. So what I have to do in order to enable this is to do the top down. So we're going to do a top-down heapify operation, and we're going to do a test with one of the items, okay, out of place. So now let's let's run, okay. So we're going to take here's our heap, here's our our test, okay. So here's our our test, and we know that this works because it, it matches our heap. So how many items? We're going to add ten items to our heap. Okay, and we're going to start off. So this is the modified one. Okay, uh, and then we do the rest. The rest are in, in heap. They, they meet the heap condition. They're in heap order. Nine, three, two, four, one. Okay, so we have. Let's see if it worked. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Six, fourteen, ten. Okay, and then the, after the heap of five should be fourteen, eight, ten. And we have fourteen, eight, ten. And then six, seven, nine, three, two, four, one. Okay, so we've we've confirmed top down and bottom up heapify operations that they work, and so now what we can do is we can use these operations. We've we've tested them. So this is our test function, right? It's a it's a, a testing main line for the top down and bottom up heapify operations. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Now our next goal is to add to, okay, pqheap.h, okay, now we're going to use the priority queue uh, abstract data type. We're going to add those functions. Those were already given to us in the lecture, uh, and I explained them. And so we're going to add those, and then we're going to implement a, a priority queue-based heap. Okay, so let's let's get started on that. Okay, so what we want to do here, we have to go to main. This is our, this no longer can be main. Okay, we're going to change, uh, I'm going to say, we're going to call this function, we'll just call it um, uh, test, uh, test heapify or something. Test heap if phi. How's that? Okay, so this, this function. Now we're not gonna we're not gonna use it. Control S. It's it's not gonna be used. We're gonna create another testing main. Okay, so we're going to go in here, and I'm just gonna go here and say a new item, and I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna make it a CPP file, and just call it main. Add, and this becomes this will be our new, our new main. Okay, so very likely we're gonna need all of this. Okay, so. Um, I called it main test, didn't I? Main test, main test. Okay, so this one's going to be main. So I'm going to copy everything up to here. It's actually not bad. So Control C. Uh, I'm going to change a couple things, but this is main.cpp. Uh, this is the main for testing the priority queue. Okay. ADT abstract data type. Okay, so that is everything, and we're gonna have our main. That's it. We're ready to go. We'll go return, uh, return zero. Okay, Control S, and we're gonna get going. All right. So, what do we need to do? We need to first define 
the priority queue functions, right? So let's go. We don't need item anymore. We're going to stick with that structure. Okay, I can close that for now. Uh, so we need the PQ heap. Okay, so these are going to be now. These are the uh, uh, prototypes, right? Or prototypes or the, the function prototypes, okay, for priority queues. And again, these were provided for you. So we had void uh, PQ init and we had max n. Okay. We had int is pq empty. We had so is pq empty. Make sure we spell it right. So void. We had pq insert item. And then this returns pq del max. So this returns and deletes the the, the item at the top. Okay, uh, of the heap. Okay, so that is these are the the functions that we had. And and again, these are our control C. We're going to we're going to implement them over here. Okay, so these are the heapify. I'll call this heapify uh, helper heapify functions. So let's just functions, and then here we're going to have the priority queue functions. Okay, so now we can what we can do is take these colons and replace them. Curly bracket braces. Okay, and same thing here, and then enter. Okay, all right, so here are our functions, uh, and now all we have to do, okay, these are, are going to be typed, okay, we're basically going to type these from uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna use these from straight from the notes, okay? So PQ init is uh, again you can you can uh, comment here what it does, okay? Uh, so PQ init we go uh, all right PQ init is PQ equals item to cast it malloc again max n plus 1 okay this this is basically you'll recognize this from the from the main right size of item okay so again uh, because we're using malloc here we have to go in I also forgot to well okay so let's just say uh, include malloc.h Okay, control S, let's see if it, okay, PQ equals, oh, I forgot uh, what I have to do here. Uh, I need to define a private or private to this file. Okay, I need to define a, a, a pointer to an item, right? PQ. It's a priority queue. It basically points to the, the array, the start of the array. Right. This is the start of. This is a pointer to our priority queue. Okay. Okay. And uh, we also have um, how many items there are. Right. So static uh, int n. This is going to be uh, again. It's it's global, but only to this file. Uh, this is the index variable, um, the, lo the last element, location of last element in PQ, okay, of the priority queue. Okay, so we, we need those. Those are two things we need. So PQ init, we, we've, we've done, we've seen. Uh, 
uh, is it empty? Basically, we just check if n equals zero because n is the is the index that last index. So return, and we saw this in previous uh, types of data structures like this. Okay, return is n zero, and and then the rest basically increment n, right? And decrement n, right? So pq insert, uh, we say pq. We use an index notation. We have to increment n and then place, right? And then place the item at that location in the array. And once you place the item in the array, right, you're placing it at, you insert at the end, and then you fix up. You float that value to its position in the heap. So we say fix up, and then PQ, we have fix up needs the, the priority queue and how big it is in order to work. Uh, okay, or actually, no, not how big it is. Well, it's where you placed, where you placed that item, right? You got, you're going to start at the item that you placed and float it up. Okay, and then we have PQ del max. So when you delete the max item, right, you're going to uh, basically exchange the item at the root with the last item in the heap, right? So you're going to you're going to exchange it, then you're going to remove that last item because that was at the root, and then you have to float down uh, that that last item. Okay, so then we're going to use fix down here. Okay, so uh, we need a temporary variable here, right? Temp temp item. Okay, and then here we need to swap, right? So this is what we're doing: swap root with last element. Okay. So temp, that's why we need the temp item. This is for the swap. Temp item is for the swap operation. Okay, so temp item equals pq at 1. This is the, uh, the root. This is the root to delete and return, right? Well, return and then delete is really turn and delete from heap. Okay, so we're gonna, we're storing that in the temp item and we have to put that at the bottom, right? So now P, so we have to swap PQ at the root with PQ at the last, the last item. Right? That's why we stored the value of the root. And then pq at, at now n okay, equals the temp item. Okay, so we put that item at the end. And then what we have to do is float that root. Right, We have to float. Um, uh, we have to fix down, or we can we can even re well we're going to return that last item in a second. So then we have to fix because we because we we swapped with the root. We have to fix down, okay. Uh, starting okay, we, it needs the the heap the particular heap starting at one and go to n minus one because n is the one we're going to return right. We're returning the 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 item at at uh, at n. Okay, so we fix down and then. Uh, we return, okay, so we're going to return pq at n and then decrement n, okay, because now the size of our heap has been reduced, okay, and that's it. Uh, you, we're going to, this returns, returns the old uh, root uh, at the top of the heap. Well, it's a max heap really, right? Okay, because we, we assume that uh, the largest item is at the top. Control S, uh, actually we can save everything. Okay, uh, and that's it. We've basically created our, our heap. This, this, this code you can sort of trust as long as you didn't uh, type it wrong. We got this from, from the notes. Okay, so now what we want to do is we need to test everything. Okay, we don't need this one anymore. This is for the heapify. We need this guy. Okay, so let's go in and run a test. Okay, we're going to add items to the queue and we're going to uh, heapify the whole thing. Okay, as we add items, uh, we're going to, to heapify uh, everything. Okay, uh, 
Uh, let's go. Uh, let's see. All right, here let's let's go and build. Uh, we're not going to modify anything in this heap, so we're not going to use one of the heapify operations. Um, okay, let's let's go in and and start building these 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 heaps. Okay, uh, so first step is we need to add items. So we're going to use the same thing that we did. Maybe I shouldn't have deleted this guy. Right, we have uh, how many items you want to add to instead of the heap, it's the priority queue, right? So we have um, uh, okay. As some of this stuff will be similar. I'm just wondering if I should. Yeah, okay. We could we can. Um, some of it will be similar, but not all. Okay, let's let's go in and just just do it. Okay, so we have an item, so my item, just like we did in the previous main. Um, we are also going to store, because it's a priority queue, we're going to have a dequeued item, right? We're going to store a dequeued item, okay? Uh, and then, so item is for adding, I guess, and uh, a dequeued item, once we dequeue it, uh, we could have a number of items, int, uh, num items. This is the same as what we saw in the previous main. Uh, we have counters i and k. Okay, and then uh, we're going to. I can just grab from from here. How many items to add to the instead of heap? Okay, so that's that one. Control C. Okay, how many items to add to the priority? Okay. How many items to add to? And in and here we 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 uh, initialize the heap. We actually have a function that does this. So let's use let's call that uh, particular function. So here we say pq init. Okay, and then num items. Okay, and that's that's that. And then we're going to add items to. Uh, the priority queue. So we could add text and all that stuff, but I'm just going to add um, the the priority. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go basically and grab this test here, and I'm going to add items, right, like this. Control C and just put that into my main. Okay. So I'm basically um, entering a priority and adding that. Uh, priority okay uh, and then instead of this instead of adding directly to the array what I do is I call the function PQ insert and I add that item to the array that's it control s to save uh, and we've added our items to instead of the heap the priority queue Control S. What did I do? Control Z. Control S. Okay. All right. This is going to give me the, the the problem because it doesn't like scanf, but that's okay. All right. So PQ insert, and then uh, so we've we we we're going to run the PQ insert. If we go back to PQ heap, uh, the PQ insert fixes up every time. Okay. Uh, and that's it. So we initialize, check if it's empty. When we delete, we're going to use fix down. So we're going to use both of these. We got on insert, we fix up. On delete, we fix down. Okay. So uh, let's go in and uh, DQ. Uh, let's do the DQ operation now in our main. So this is NQing items. Items. To priority queue. This uses fix up because we add items. When we add items, we fix up. Okay, control S. Next, we're going to DQ items, right? DQ. So we're going to say DQ the priority, priority queue. 
while reheapifying the tree. Right? When you remove from the root, uh, you have to swap with the last item. So you have to reheapify. So here, um, we're going to output, right? So, uh, so we could we could write and uh, we would have to tell. We should probably tell the user printf. Okay, so uh, we're going to tell them uh, dequeuing, right? Uh, dequeuing, dequeuing the heap uh, in priority order. Okay, so it's going to be, it's a max heap, so highest to lowest. So the higher the number, the higher the priority. Okay, and we'll go backslash n. Okay, and so here we're going to output for i is 0, uh, i is less than num items, uh, less than, uh, actually, or equal to because we started at 1, uh, num items, and then i plus plus. Okay, so now the dequeued item is equal to Okay, good. It's right. I, t I spelled it right. Uh, PQ del max. Now remember, this what it does is it it swaps right the root with the last item, and then uh, it returns the last item, but not before fixing down right because the last item is likely to be the smallest, so it needs to float that item down, and then uh, you got your dequeued item. And then what we could say is we could output that, right? We could output um, we could output that that uh, that value. So we're actually outputting the, the tree in in its order, right? In the order that it should be. Uh, and so what we're going to say is this is the output, right? This is going to give us the ordered heap. So we're going to say printf, printf, and we're going to say uh, I don't know. We'll say backslash n. Uh, priority and then uh, we'll just say percent D okay um, and then that will that's what we'll put right that's the value stored there and then it's D Q U E U E D D Q D item and we have to access the priority right because that's the only thing that we are dealing with and then that's it uh, and then we stop, and this this output here is going to be in order, right? It's going to be in the order. The root always has the the largest item, right? Okay, so Control S to save, and now we can we can go and we can test all of this out. Uh, what we should do, let me just make sure. So this is our heap. We tested that code. Um, Okay, Th this is this should sort our numbers. So whatever numbers we put in, okay, I already, this is the code that we had. This should end up sorting. Whatever numbers we put in, it should come out in sorted order. Okay, so let's move this over. And let's test out the code and see if it gives it to us uh, in our sorted order. Okay. Okay, I'm going to run it. Um, how many items? I don't know. Let's go with 10. Okay. And I need to put numbers in, uh, in, in order of priority. So let's start with 20. And then the next one we'll, we'll make it 1. The next one we'll make it, um, I don't know, uh, 15, somewhere in the middle. Um, I don't know, 3, and then 17, and then 2, and then, I don't know, 14. I don't know how many I'm on now here. Uh, and then uh, 8, and then, I don't know, back to 2. Oh, I have two that are the same. Oops, uh, it's okay. Um, let's just go 19. Did I have a 19 in there? Okay. So uh, I have an issue in the code. Okay, so I've done something. Something is not, not correct. So we have to uh, debug this first. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause for a second because I don't want this video to get too long. Okay, so just to, to show you where the issue is, um, the, the PQ heap 
starts at at one. Okay, in our in our main, it it actually starts at one, um, and it, it, it because of that, because of where it starts, and because the the test functions uh, that we use fix up and fix down, uh, they assume zero, and they assume where is it here? Uh, they assume j less than n. So it's actually incorrect. Uh, it should be uh, well the way that we wrote our our PQ heap. Okay, we have to modify our fix up and fix down functions in order to work with the way that our heap is structured. So our heap starts at index one. Okay, and so we have to also, so that, that's the first part, right? Our heap starts at one. Uh, the, the, the root is at one, not at zero. Okay, and this, this one assumes that it's at zero. The other the other thing that we, we missed was that it's not j less than n, that's the left child. The, it's the right child that must be less than or equal to n. So if we have the equality, then we could say j is uh, less than n, or uh, in other words, we could compare the left child. Uh, if it's equal to n, then we're, we're ready to stop. Okay, so we want to look at the right. The right child is, is going to be the one that can be less than or equal to n. Okay. So that that works. This this should work. Uh, it was just that that small change. Let's let's do a check. Let's do a test. So basically, whatever we add to the heap will become sorted. Okay. So whatever numbers we put in priority, it's going to come out in priority order. Okay. So let's go here. Let's run a test and see how our heap works. So we run like this and we say, okay. Uh, in our priority queue, uh, we want to have ten items. Okay, numbers from 1 to 20. Let's let's do it in like random order. We'll start at 20, then we'll put 1. Um, let's put in the middle, somewhere at 15. Put something at 2. Uh, put something at you know 18 maybe. Uh, let's go back and forth. Uh, let's go to 3, and we're going to go down to 16, right? We'll go to, did I do 5? Five, 5, and we'll go down to 14 just oscillate back and forth. It's got to sort it, right? Um, and then we'll go, I don't know, we'll go to six, and then that's it. So so look, so we put it in some random order, and it comes out sorted, okay? I must have had, what do I have, a 20, a one? How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I have eleven. That's why there's an extra one, two. Uh, probably just something simple. Uh, let's go and check. Uh, I'm probably uh, in my loop, uh, in my in my output loop. Let's go to main uh, dq. Ah, uh, while it's less than num items. Okay. Run the test again, and we should be. We should be okay. Again, this is good for debugging. I'm not going to go with 10 items now. I'm just going to put, I don't know, 8 items. So let's go 20. Let's go 1. Let's go 15. And then 4. And then, I don't know, 19. And then 3. And then, I don't know, 17. And 10. So it should sort it. 20, 19, 17, 15, 10, 4, 3, 2, 1. Or, sorry, 4, 4, 3, 1. Okay, good. No repeated items, and there's eight items. So we are good. We've tested the code. Uh, again, the assumption that we made for the top down and bottom up Heapify, uh, when we wrote those, was that zero, the root was going to be at zero. But we chose our root in our PQ heap to be at one. Okay, so because of that, uh, we, we had a sort of disconnect in the way we were doing things. We could have made the, the heap start at zero if we wanted to, okay? And that would re remove the, heap, the disconnect or we just modify uh, our bottom up and top down heapify code. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lecture. I know it was a little bit long. You could play it, <laughs> you could have played it in uh, uh, fast forward if you like. Uh, highest to lowest, let me just change that before I sign off here. Uh, highest to lowest. There we go, control S, and we're good to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.